welcome to Arizona State University's Big Three. I'm Veronica Sanchez, bringing you the top stories from America's most innovative university. Here are three newsworthy stories you can report on right now. The largest number of Sun Devils in history gets set to graduate. We'll introduce you to some inspiring grads. Miss Arizona, an honor student who spent a decade in prison and multiple twins and triplets are graduating. We'll tell you which school has that distinction. And devils in the medal, student vets transition to civilian life in a powerful and visual way. Let's begin the big three. Number one, this May, nearly 21,000 Sun Devils are receiving their diplomas. That's despite downward trends in college enrollment across the nation and the near constant critiques of higher education. ASU grads are among the world's most employable, coming in second only to Berkeley in the public university rankings. The fastest growing engineering school in the nation, the Ira A. Fulton Schools of Engineering, has an increase of 16% over last spring, and the Edson College of Nursing and Health Innovation is up 18%. These graduates will help fill workforce gaps in the semiconductor industry in the Phoenix area and help curb the state's shortage of nurses. Number two, let's introduce you to some of our incredible graduates. The impressive Miss Arizona Tiffany Ticklow is a computer science major who wants to inspire kids to combine code and creativity. Tahona Odom member Cordero Holmes spent 10 years in prison for armed robbery and weapons violations before turning his life around and becoming a Barrett the Honors College graduate. Barrett is also graduating five sets of twins and one set of triplets this spring. Miguel and Carlos Chacon are twin engineering grads and are thrilled to be going through commencement together. If one of us didn't understand one of the topics, the other one hopefully did. And if not, we can work together to figure it out. Yeah, we kind of bounce off each other. And when one of us is like less motivated to do some sort of homework or project, and the other one just starts doing it, you know, it kind of motivates the other person, the other twin. <laughs> However annoying it might be. Yeah. <laughs> All of the graduates mentioned here are willing to go on camera and talk about what commencement means to them and their future plans after graduation. Number three, ASU veteran and graduate Bruce Ward is helping fellow vets heal through the Devils in the Metal Veterans Iron Casting Workshop. It's a three-week pilot program that teaches veterans the basic steps of iron pouring techniques like clay patterning and sand molding and that become eventually sculptures. Ward says the workshop helps veterans heal from PTSD and ease into civilian life by creating a work of art that represents strength and resilience. I help them form it in their mind and then into 2D on or 3D in clay and then we cast an iron relief. The workshop was sponsored by the Pat Tillman Veterans Center and Coca-Cola. By the way, the Veterans Stole Commencement Ceremony is happening Saturday, May 4th at Gamage Auditorium. That does it for ASU's Big Three Stories. Want to use our video? No problem. Just courtesy Arizona State University. Also, ASU has more than 800 experts you can talk to on deadline. Just click on the Media Relations and Strategic Communications page and look for an expert or reach out to me. Finally, check out the ASU News X page daily for stories and updates. That does it for ASU's Big Three Stories. Thanks for watching and forks up.